Hey, what's up, y'all? So, Rena Vincent back up in here exploring life like always. How's everybody doing out there? You know what it's time for. No bullshit, no cheating. 2022 NBA Finals. 2022 National Basketball Association Finals. Uh, prediction picks, you know, what I think is going to happen during the whole series. Um, it's going down, as you know, it's going to be the Golden State Warriors taking on them punk Boston Celtics. You already, you already know who I got. You already know who I'm picking when I made that comment right there. You know what I mean? But let's go back to uh, round three, which was the conference um, conference finals. Let's go back to that, and I'll give you my uh, prediction results. As you know, in the Western Conference, your homie Arena Vincent did pick the Golden State Warriors to defeat the Dallas Mavericks, and that's what happened. I got that pick correct. The Dallas just didn't have nothing. They didn't have nothing else. Just, they just have Luka. No offense to anybody, you know, if you're a Dallas Maverick fan and you know everybody on the roster and all that, all y'all had is Luka, dog. That's it. You know, I like basketball, but I'm not all super, super duper fan. I'm not all up, up, up in all the rosters and all that, but I like basketball. But that's what I saw, man. You couldn't handle the firepower that the Golden State Warriors were coming at you with. So the Golden State Warriors got it done. Now they're trying to get that three, that third ring for the core, for the, 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 you know, the big three they have there. And all that, and all the other people getting their first rings and all that. So, the Golden State Warriors move on. I got that pick correct. Now, let's go to the Eastern Conference. As you know, your homie Arena Vincent picked the Miami Heat to defeat the Boston Celtics to move on. I got that pick wrong. As you know, the Boston Celtics got it done. I don't give a shit how much you win by. You win by two, three, one, zero, whatever. Long <laughs> zero. <laughs> as long as you win, you win. Dog. I don't care. Like People are going to talk shit saying, oh, you know, Boston barely won, but they still won. So they still move on. So I don't like Boston. And Jason Tatum, I don't like that fool. I mean, he's a good player. I ain't going to never deny people's talents. If you good, you good. I wouldn't mind him on my squads. Raptors, Lakers, or the Wizards. But he on them punk Boston Celtics. And, you know, they got it done because Miami, uh, just at the end, man, Miami just couldn't get it done at the end. You, I watched it. I tuned in right after Jimmy Butler took that shot. That three-pointer that if he would have made, would have put them in the lead. I still think you should have went for two. That was me personal, my personal opinion. But I think this is what would happen. If Jimmy Butler would have went for two and missed it, he would have got told he should have shot the three. If Jimmy Butler would have went for two and tied it and made it, they would have said people would still want it. And if they still lost, they would have said, oh, Jimmy Butler should have shot the three. You know, so it's you're damned if you do, you're damned if you don't. Uh, like Kobe says, you just keep shooting. You know what I mean? Like, it don't matter, man. You keep shooting. And, and Jimmy Butler was on fire. Just when he pulled up and shot that three, it didn't go in. Um, but, hey, you know, that's 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 why they get paid that money, man. They got to make that choice. And that's how you know who 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 is a, a superstar player and who's an okay player when they make those tough decisions. And, um, you know, it just didn't go in. And then Miami couldn't, couldn't do anything after that. I mean, you know, Boston Celtics, you know, clamped down on their, 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 their defense. Uh, Tatum didn't do anything at the end anyway, um, but that's the way it goes, man, because I watched the roster remaining in that game right after that Jimmy Butler shot. Uh, Miami Heat just couldn't do anything. You know, They had like two or three shots, two or three chances, but the defense was all smothering all over them to try to get, you know, either get it close or tie it up, but nothing would happen. Nothing was going down, and that was it. Miami lost, but I'm going to say shout out to Miami fans there, man, not cheering for them, them punk Celtics when they got that trophy and all that, man. That was that. I was watching it live, uh, and you can hear no nobody, no fans were cheering. You know, there was Boston Celtics fans there, but you didn't really hear any. It was quiet, and that's the way it should be when you're playing at some opponent's house and and the opponent wins. You know, the the visiting team wins at your house, man. I wanted to be quiet. I'll be cheering for them fools. <laughs> but that's just my opinion. But you know, so I got that pick wrong. The Boston Celtics moved on, but again. Uh, I think Boston still has, they're, they're not consistent, man. They're very iffy. Uh, I know supposedly they don't lose back-to-back -back games, so they lose one, win one, lose one, win one, whatever, you know. But it's still not consistent with their play sometimes, you know. Uh, so Al Horford, congratulations. He, bet, he finally made it to a finals. Uh, he put in work in the Buck series. If it wasn't for Al Horford putting in, dropping the 34 points or whatever, you know, the Bucks would have won that series, period, you know. So we'll see what happens. Um, but again, so I went one for one in the conference finals of predictions. Now let's go ahead and get you to the NBA finals, man. It's going down today. It's already like 5.30. It's going to be like 6.30 right now. But again, no cheating from me. I don't look at the scores. I haven't checked no scores. 
Here's what I'm going to say. Remember, it's a best of seven series. So the first team to win four games move, wins it all, man. They can hold up that Larry O'Brien trophy, and they're the champions of the 2021-2022 2000 um, NBA season. You know what I mean? Basically, 2022 NBA champions. You know how it goes. Um, your homie Arena Vincent is going to take, you already know who I got, I'm taking the motherfucking Golden State Warriors. Golden State Warriors to defeat them punk Boston Celtics. That's right, I said it. And become champions of the 2022 NBA playoffs. Champions, uh, once again, for for um, Draymond. Once again, for Klay Thompson. Once again, for Steph Curry and all that. They're going to get their third ring. Uh, and I'm going to say... I'm going to say they're going to do I don't like doing game predictions. If it goes to game seven, goes to, I'm going to say they're going to do it in five, baby. I'm going to do it in five. I think Boston might get one win. Um, hell, I might be wrong. It might go all the way to seven, whatever gets it done. That's why I don't like picking the games, but I'm picking who I think is going to win. That's the Golden State Warriors. I think if the Golden State Warriors stay consistent in their type of game, slow it down because, again, Boston Celtics are pretty quick. they you know up and down the court. they got smothering defense as well. I just think uh, – I think – Golden State got too many weapons, man. When they're, when they're hitting on floor, you got uh, Jordan Pooley, member. He's there. I think Andrew Wiggins is still there, right? He might be. He might be. Um, but, you know, all that, they can get it done. As long as there's no funny business by Draymond doing some dumb stuff <laughs> or anything, we might be able to get it done. You know what I mean? So we'll see what happens. All right? So that's what I got. I'm taking the Golden State Warriors over the Boston Celtics. And, you know, my whole opinion about Jason Tatum, you know, wearing that Lakers uh, number 20, I mean, number 24, uh, RIP Kobe Bryant, little uh, armband around his elbow or whatever, man. I get it. I know him and Kobe Bryant did train together. Kobe Bryant, and he was a Kobe Bryant fan. Um, and Kobe Bryant did this training, I think, when he was retired. So I ain't tripping, you know what I mean? But to me, just the whole hatred uh, uh, of, of the, the, the punk Celtics and Lakers, as a Laker fan, I don't like that, man. I don't like that at all. But Again, Kobe was retired, so so it's all good. He can train, he can do whatever he wants. He's one of the greatest players to ever play the game. So I ain't tripping off him. It's just the fact that Jason Tatum's a punk Celtic, dog. That, that just doesn't rub me right. But it's cool that he, he paid homage and respect to Kobe Bryant with that. But he ain't going to be with you this time, baby. Golden State Warriors going to take you out uh, maybe next year. Not. Like I said, I, I am a Boston Celtics fan, so I'm very biased with my decision and making this pick. But that's just the way I stand, man. I can't stand them Celtics, man. They took Kobe's other ring away. Kobe would have had six wings if they wouldn't have lost to them punk Celtics and Kevin Garnett and all them, man. So <laughs> and I'm bitter, but I remember, all right? So but anyway, man, so that's my opinion, though. I still think, and then take my bias away. If you just play basketball, and see who's on, I think Golden State has more weapons, and they can stay consistent in winning. They can slow the game down. Drop them threes if Curry's on. If not, you know, you got Jordan Pooley, I believe. I think that's his name. And you got other people that Golden State can rely on. Boston Celtics only got like two guys. That's it. And then what, Al Horford's going to throw in some sundown? Come on, man. Nah. Golden State Warriors all the way. That's what I'm taking. The Golden State Warriors are going to be your 2022 NBA champions, baby. As always, thank you for exploring the arena we call life. Your homie, Arena Vincent. Vincent365 Production. Novello. You know what to do. Give me that like. Give me that share. And once again, like always, you disagree. You got something to say. The comments are always open. Let me know what's up. And oh, yeah, one more thing. In the description below, check out my podcast, baby. I do one episode a month. <laughs> so check that out, all right? Peace.